of Rizzo. We've got a little new segment tonight. We're going to call it Hey Rizzy. Questions from, well, Plank Road Tavern in Lakewood. Let's check it out. Riz, really? Are the Browns going to go 0-16? Uh, don't make me answer that right now. I will ask Gerard. Gerard, what do you think? Can the Browns go 0-16? It's a possible yes, but it's the likelihood of that is far remote, Riz. It's very hard to lose all your football games in the season in the National Football League. Have you seen us play? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> On a weekly basis. <laughs> all right, let's hope that one's right. Next! Hey, Riz. Uh, quick question. of With the Browns being such a young football team, uh, how long do you project and you see in the, for the future of them being a, a winning football team? Um, I think he was reading his take, but we'll take it. Okay, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, how long before I see them being a winner? Uh, how long do you got? Uh, the Browns aren't close right now. I think they've got a nice nucleus. But, Gerard, when you look at the Browns, are they one year away, two years away, God forbid, three years away? I have to say at least two years away. But the problem is this, Riz. If they do bring in another head coach and he brings in another quarterback, you're looking at another two years. Another two years. There you go. All right, let's hear the next one. Next! Riz, did you just see that? Steelers just won. Buckeye 63 points. When does that happen, baby? Woo! All right, uh, number one, we'll get to the Buckeyes a little bit later on. Gerard and I are going to talk a little Buckeyes. Uh -huh. You, sir, are banned forever from the Rizzo Show. We don't talk Steelers on the Rizzo Show. Did they win today? I don't even know. I don't pay attention to Steelers. Next! Hey, Riz, is it too late for the Browns to go back to Baltimore? Um, you really don't mean that. Cleveland 95, speaking of Baltimore, did you watch that this week, and what were your impressions? My impressions were I could not believe the hypocrisy of the people of Maryland. I mean, how do you have your team leave, go to Indianapolis, and you celebrate the fact that you sold another team? Made no sense to me. Yeah, as bad as the Browns are, we don't want them to ever leave town again. Next! Hey, Riz, it's okay if the Browns keep losing as long as I can still drink. Woo! All right, there we go. Putting people on alcohol on the show. Always a winner here on the Rizzo Show. Truth is, we have a little saying this year, kids. The moniker for the Browns 2012 season, stay thirsty, my friend. Next! I think this is the last one, is it not? Hey, Riz, it's never too early to talk about the draft. Who should we go with next year? All right, I cannot believe we're going to talk draft right now. It's October, what, 7th, 8th, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Draft, Gerard, we might have the first pick in a draft, right? Yes, we might, and we might take another quarterback. Riz, right? No, yes. no, not another quarterback. We just took a quarterback last year. Well, think about it. You're going to probably have a regime change with the head coach, and last time I checked, head coaches like to bring in their own quarterback, so that is not off the table, a new quarterback being drafted first I shouldn't say first of all, because then I'm assuming the Browns could be the worst team, but you never know. All right, the way it looks right now, that's what it looks like. We will talk about that a little bit later on coming up in the next segment. Thanks to everybody there at Plank Road Tavern in Lakewood. All right, speaking of...